So the book uh, Jamie and I uh, wrote together, the best-selling award-winning book is called On Our Street, our first talk about poverty. Um, and where this uh, um, concept came from was really from uh, Jamie's uh, phrase, you know, don't ask kids what they want to be, uh, but ask them what problem they want to solve. Uh, and homelessness and poverty and that social inequity in, in our world um, is a, a significant problem that we all need to solve and, is, and a problem that has gained uh, increased attention and, and desperation uh, during this pandemic. One of the things uh, that Jamie has talked about and that I believe and completely is that education uh, can be that silver bullet. Education can be the great equalizer. Um, and in the 21st century, technology and technology and education uh, can be a great equalizer. Um, and so talking about the power of technology uh, in education um, is really uh, the theme uh, of, of today's conversation. Um, and, and in particular, uh, um, how this affects is, is at play and is, is affecting us during this pandemic. So first of all, I, I think most of you know that I'm a child psychologist. Um, I'm a frontline child psychologist, so I'm not just writing books and, you know, working uh, in the companies I'm affiliated with, um, but I, I'm also frontline uh, working uh, with children. Um, and that has meant uh, that I've been working virtually uh, um, via things like Zoom uh, for the past couple of months. Um, and I've been able to see uh, firsthand uh, the psychological effects of social distancing on kids. And what I want to say is that there are different effects of social distancing uh, based on the age of the child and also on the family composition of the child. So where there's families with a bunch of kids uh, and they're all social isolating together, uh, I've seen uh, more resiliency and, and fewer challenges. In the families where there's maybe an only child or there's a tremendous uh, age gap between the children, uh, like a young child and then a teenager, I've seen more challenges. Um, children lonely, uh, um, experiencing anxiety, depression, regressive behavior, like being more clingy with parents, wanting to climb into the bed with parents, um, uh, um, a little bit more irritable through the day, cranky, not wanting to comply uh, with the school uh, activities that have been given to them. Um, so I've seen a lot of that. Um, with the older children, I've seen some really pushback against um, the social distancing rules. So a lot of fights uh, about not going out or not having friends over. Um, uh, and especially early on in the pandemic, I think that that has calmed down uh, a little bit now. Um, but I've also seen tremendous loss uh, on the part of kids that have missed prom, missed that big competition, missed that big performance that they had been working on all year long. Um, I've had, you know, uh, young people sew their grad outfit uh, and, and now not be able to wear it. And even though uh, schools are putting things off to the fall for kids that are planning on traveling next year, or going off to university next year, for some kids, it feels like they put all of that time and effort into something that isn't going to take place. Mm -hmm. So missing, you know, that rite of passage. Um, so this has been a, a time of, of loss for kids. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that we are able uh, to talk about um, how we can use technology, and Jamie will get to that, how we can use technology to buffer uh, some of these uh, challenges.